Hello everyone and welcome to Algorithms. In this video, I will be explaining distribution counting sort that is a sorting algorithm which balances time and space complexities. It optimizes memory usage by reusing the input array for sorting, making it efficient space concentrated environments. This algorithm excels in scenarios where minimizing space is crucial, emphasizing a trade-off between code, simplicity, and memory efficiency. Let me give you an example. As you can see here, we have different number of boards with different colors, and the right order of the colors are orange, blue, green, and red. As you can see here, this is the initial state of the order, and this is the goal state of the order that we're trying to read. Let's create an array where we count the different colors and how many times it have occurred. Next, we convert this frequency array into a prefixum. For every element starting from the second one, we add the current number to the previous one and store the result in the current cell. What does these numbers represent? The count corresponding to a color denotes the number of elements that appear before it by looking at an element and its corresponding count. In the prefixum, we can determine which position the element will be when the input is stored. In the next step, we place the objects in their correct positions and decrease the count by 1. Starting at the end of the input, we have the blue color. The corresponding number is 5, which means there are 5 colors that comes before blue, including the blue, so it's going to the 5th position in the output. Then update the prefix sum by decrementing the count because there is 4 less numbers that will come before the color. The relative ordering will be flipped if we traverse from the left. This is so because accounts indicate the number of elements that appear before the element that is rightmost position. The element can be placed out when we traverse from the end. We place the element in the rightmost position and decrement the account. Therefore, the upcoming elements that are equal to it will keep getting placed to the left, preserving the original order. Now let's discuss the code. As you can see here, we have three variables, n, which is the number of the array, l, which is the lower bound, and u, which is the upper bound. In the first for loop, we initialize the frequencies, and in the second for loop, we compute the frequencies, and in the third for loop, we use the distribution array, and in the last for loop, we sort the array. And the explanation is being explained in details with the previous example. Now let's analyze the code. As you can see here, we have four submission, every submission for every for loop. And we're going to use the formula upper negative lower bound plus one to indicate our time complexity. As you can see here after simplification, our time complexity is theta n plus k, which is the time complexity for distributing counting sort. Thank you for watching and hopefully this video was helpful.